I am working on a punchline. So this was a commission that I did for my Christmas giveaway and my scanner <laughs> didn't exactly like the colors that I did traditionally and I painted it and it uh, was kind of sad. So I'm recoloring it <laughs> uh, digitally this time. So I did scan my inks before I started painting it and so this time I'm going to color it digitally um, and I plan to use it as a print of the month on my website sometime soon. So um, I am going to be working in Photoshop right now. So I am using Photoshop Creative Cloud and I am using, I'm coloring directly onto my monitor as it were. It's a Cintiq so it's on an easel so I can move it like this and I will be coloring traditionally, I mean <laughs> digitally on this piece. So I started working on the coloring a little bit earlier today and I just need to finish it. Um, it's very sad that the coloring <laughs> didn't work out um, on the traditional one. It worked out great on the piece of paper. I was extremely happy with it, like happier than I usually am, but then it scanned and it was a travesty. <laughs> so anyway, I am digitally coloring it now. And my Facebook chat is working. Oh, I'm so happy. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday. James, Andrew, Carmen. Rob, Christy Misty, Clever Santos, Mr. E, Philip, Jeff Martin, you're not late, don't worry. <laughs> Allie, Super Bowl Sunday means, aw, thank you, D-Dog. It scanned so yucky, Carmen. I've tried so many things to adjust it and change it and fix it, and it just has not worked out very well for me. So I may have a couple versions, I may have both versions, so if somebody really likes the traditional one, um, I will, may have that too. I personally really liked the traditional one, but then it didn't scan very well. Like when I had the original next to my monitor, <laughs> it was very sad. Car collector, hello! <clears throat> Is there a drawing tablet tablet that I recommend for newbies? I'm not really sure because I haven't tried very many. I have an iPad, like the iPad Pro, but it's like the original one, so it's super old, but I have Procreate on that and it works great. Um, but I know that iPads are expensive, so you know I don't have very much experience as far as any other um, drawing mediums. I've heard good things about the Huon tablets, but again, I don't know. Oh, look at that. Blue Dragon Ink said Huon would be your BFF. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, James. Ian says Procreate rocks. Yeah, Procreate is very cool. Royal Apple, Royal Apple Butt. Oh my God, I love your name. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the stream. So I haven't fully done um, very much on this, but I have done a little bit. But since we're all here and um, I had promised that I was going to do one more live stream with Eric's Mojo um, and I didn't, I can at least show you the main version um, the other ones don't have their nips covered, so I can't show you that. Um, but I can show you the, um, the main version. All the other ones have nips, and I don't have the e-nips on, <laughs> on it. But you guys can see the main version. It is right here. So this is of Ebass's character, Morgana. It's for his Mojo series. I don't know when my cover set is going to be coming out. Um, but this is the main version. So I did so much detail, oh my god, but for, this is the one with the water and then the other versions have, well some of them have dripping gold coming down from off the page, but from the top going down. So um, this is the, the main version, put some little sparklies on her skin. This is just the low raised JPEG so that I could open it quickly. Um, and for this one, I wanted it to look kind of like um, driftwood, so it's a little bit more desaturated. In the other ones, it looks a little bit more 
um, like varnished, well-treated, ornate wood. Jeff, hello. Oh, sorry, uh, Carmen. That sucks about um, Procreate. <laughs> Okay, Ken says use Sketchbook Pro. Devin, hello, welcome to the stream. Anyway, this is that version because I worked on the pencils of the, the patch, so the alternate outfit with you guys, and I had to completely change the placement of her necklaces because, you know, cleavage moves the boobs up. I mean, you know, push up moves the boobs up and as such it would move her necklaces. So I had to redraw her necklaces and put her clothes on. It sucked. <laughs> I do recommend the iPad with Procreate for the enthusiast. It's cheaper in the long run, but for professionals or someone who wants to go in that direction, a drawing tablet with a screen is the gold standard. Yeah. I would agree. All right, there we go. So that is the Morgana. I will be closing that. We're going back to punchline. So I am stealing some of my colors from the actual punchline number one cover that I did. Um, it's just a lot easier to swipe my own work when I can. <laughs> so some of these colors I spent so long figuring out to make sure they were the right color. So if I need to, I have this here for reference. So there we go. And I'm getting my version here. It is. Boob necklace geometry is very important. And it's really fun to toggle between the two and see her necklace move. It's like whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> you should try it. I recommend it. When the cover comes out, toggle between the two. It's very fun. All right, <clears throat> so thankfully this time I can see your guys' chats, both Facebook and Twitch are together. Yay. The last few times I've had to like open Facebook and keep Twitch running and have both there, but it doesn't work because now my whole monitor's filled up with Photoshop. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, send you the images and you can make a GIF. Ooh, fun, Devin. Okay. Hello, Damon. Thank you. That's so kind of you. All right. So um, I'm going to probably go a little off book this time. Um, this is a, a commission piece. Basically, now the digital color version of it, I'm commissioning myself. And as such, I'm not going to necessarily um follow her her makeup exactly as canon um i'm gonna try it i um i'm just gonna you know not everybody wants the same makeup look every day <laughs> i wouldn't and then i might add like a brush or something in the background it wouldn't be black but that's just kind of a placeholder for right now to just give her some splatter which is super easy to do traditionally for me, but not as easy to do digitally. So this is actually um, a uh, piece of clip brush art that I purchased. So I just keep a bunch of these that I have. So I might use something like that. We'll see. So what I do is I have her lips and her cheeks on their own layer. I think I'm also going to change her cheeks and make them a little bit softer. Uh, I have her freckles on their own layer because I just used a brush for it. Um, and then her sh eyeshadow is on its own layer too so that I can play around. If I don't like that version, I can change it. And for a lot of times, the reason why I do that is because I keep... Um, uh, I keep all the makeup on separate layers because a lot of times I do alternate versions and it just, you know, I don't want to have to repaint the whole face just to change her makeup look. So I always keep, keep all that on its own layer so I can change it. Yeah, she, I, I feel like it softens her up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so I may make some adjustments now. I think I'm going to duplicate the lips and cheeks and 
I'm going to select her lips and maybe change the color. So I'm just taking my hue slider and moving it around. Like maybe see something maroon or purpley might look nice and I could lighten it up a little bit. Maybe I'll do the lightning somewhere else. Punch up the saturation a little bit and then go to levels and just play around in the midtones a little bit. Give her a little bit more highlight and a little bit more shadow so that it's just got a little bit more contrast. That's a little too purple for me now, so I'm going to go back to um, the hue and play around with that a little bit more. like that <clears throat> and then I might just trying to decide if I just want to erase this yeah I'm gonna delete them here and just try try uh, just airbrush like I'll just delete my line art right there for her um, for her cheek things and just give her some airbrush shadowing and we'll see how that looks. We're just trying stuff out because we can. Oh, Mr. E, thank you. How's work going? Are you just slammed AF this weekend? Okay, so let's do, I'm just going to hide that. And okay. I need to write down the brush that I used for her freckles because I have a few other places I need to use it. It's spatter, pressure control two. <clears throat> Thank you, Steph Wilson. Hello, hello. Okay, now I'm just going back to my regular brush. I'm sorry you guys can't see my brush controls, um, but for the most part, I use the, the standard general brushes from Photoshop, and most of the time I use the soft round pressure, opacity, and flow. It's basically just your, your run-of-the-mill airbrush brush. And then the things that I play with are the brush settings and the brush hardness. And um, for almost everything, that's all I need. If I need a texture or something, sure, I'll take some of the other ones that Photoshop you can get as like free downloads with your Photoshop account. Um, but for the most part, I just use that one airbrush and just play around with the, um, the hardness of the flow um, and then the opacity and all of that. So. You don't need a ton of brushes. Sure, they're helpful, and sure, it can be really fancy to have a, b a bunch of them, but when you're starting out, which I consider myself still starting out with a lot of digital stuff, um, I find that just using the regular, simple airbrush works out pretty well for me. Um, but of course, that's completely up to you and what, what you would do with a, um, uh, with digital coloring is very subjective. So I'm not trying to tell you what to do there. See something like that where she has the cheeks. I'm not saying I like this version yet, but something like that works out. It just looks a little softer to me. So I don't think I like that color though. So I'm gonna undo that and maybe try to take it a little bit warmer and peachier. Let's try again. <clears throat> was but I'm off now just got home before you went live it sucked because we have an alcohol store right next to the sports book oh <laughs> <clears throat> all right I'm trying oops I'm on the wrong layer go back to lips and cheeks copy Oh, 
I'll need to reapply some highlight onto her cheeks now because um, there's her. Yeah, now I've got the uh, the cheeks are over all the highlights and stuff, but I think I prefer that. So this is we're gonna go here, and I'm just going to add a little bit of highlight on top just so that you know her little rosy cheeks look like they're actually there and not just stuck on and i haven't put um things like the uh the drop shadows from her hair or anything really in there yet but they'll happen they're coming I'm just getting a little bit more pink here and there where I feel it would be conducive. All right, so this is, don't look at her eye makeup. Well, I guess we can just turn on her eyeshadow for right now. Okay, so this is her lips and cheeks. This is the old version, new version. I prefer the softer version, but you guys let me know what you think. Yeah, that just looks a little softer to me. Okay. I'm gonna soften it out just a little bit right there. It's a little too intense for me. How, hello, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Happy Sunday. Keep soft. All right, Mr. E and Blue Dragon have spoken. <laughs> Yeah, I'm preferring the soft. I wouldn't say that I will fully put my weight down yet on her um, on her lip color. Her lip color is still in review. <laughs> but I like the softer cheeks, so I'm just gonna go ahead now and straight up erase them from my liner. cleaning up a few other little things. You always see little bits of lint or fluff or something, uh, a stray Sherlock fur here and there. <laughs> there we go. So I got rid of the line art as well. Now her cheeks just look kind of They've got a little bit of rosy glow to them. They are in the position where her circles usually are, but I've already removed it from the tip of her nose and from her chin. <laughs> the mark of approval from Sherlock. <laughs> After further review, we are in favor of the lips. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Steve, hello, welcome to the stream. For now, I'm going to leave the little um, kind of diamond shaped, well, triangle shaped things under her eyes. I, I'm not minding them for now. We'll see. <clears throat> All right. And oh my God, took me so many tries to get some... Um, to get a, uh, a um, skin tone color that I was happy with because I wasn't super happy with my punchline here. Like when it printed, I felt like her skin looked a little bit more sallow than I wanted it to. And that's because my monitor skews red. And so I always need to keep that in mind. So I was happy with it on my screen, but then this is the thing that is like the continual, um, experiment when it comes to digital coloring um, for
for covers and stuff like that is you never really know how it's going to print. I probably would have uh, bumped up the saturation a little bit more, so this time I am bumping up the saturation in her skin just a tiny bit. You did, Steve? Oh my god, what happened? You had a major health scare. Steve, oh my god. You don't have to announce it on Twitch if you don't. My, oh Jesus, wait a <laughs> Oh my God, now you're just giving me a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, well, I was really stressing everyone out yesterday because I didn't, uh, I wasn't getting to all the responses quick enough, so I know I was really stressing people out. I did not expect to get as many responses as I did. It, um, you know, uh, for, for regular conventions, I don't get that many, I mean, I'll get enough, I'll get more responses than I can usually take, but not the like inundation that I received yesterday. <laughs> so I'm so sorry if it took me a little while, but boy, oh boy, way to give me a heart attack, Steve. Mean. <laughs> <clears throat> Your son had emergency surgery, surgery Friday, appendicitis, all better-ish now. Oh my God, Rob. I'm so sorry to hear that. Huh. I'm glad you weren't st stressed out, Steve. I'm actually pretty excited about your sketch. I know that that was a big concern for you. Rob, I haven't forgotten. I do want to find out everything. We've been having a year. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rob. Were you able to get there to see him or was it just too short notice? Because I know he lives pretty far from you now, right? Steve, I'll answer yours in just a second. I'll not answer. You didn't ask me a question here. <laughs> yes, I, I, I won that time. I did good. All right, I'm trying to decide something right now because now I have her lips and cheeks on this layer, but I've done some skin adjustments as well. I may just drop it down into the main layer. I'm just gonna delete that one. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it down. Too short notice, he was in surgery before I could have got there. What with losing the folks already last fall? Yeah, that's, <clears throat> that's so rough. I'm so sorry. I'm so glad he's doing all right though. Is he recovering okay? What the fan art, hello. Yeah, I'm sorry, it has been such a year for you guys. Okay, so I'm taking the hardness of my brush way up because I want to put a little bit more highlight right there by her nose. She's got a nice strong highlight right there. I'm, I keep going back and forth if I want to do inner corner of the eye highlight and I do it and then I forget and then I change my mind and yeah. He's fine. Anthroscopic surgery is easy for appendix removals these days. Yeah, still, I mean, you know, it's so hard as a parent to have your kid in surgery and you can't get to them. That's like worst fucking nightmare. I know he's all grown up and stuff, but still. <laughs> he's just on nice pain drugs for a few days. Ooh, fun. <laughs> Okay, so Steve, to get back to you, 
Um, I really like the idea. So much so that I would like to steal your idea. <laughs> and since you want it on regular paper, I may um, draw it here. Uh, I, it depends if I have time or not, but maybe I'll just do it on a live stream. I haven't decided, no promises, but I do really like the idea. I'm pretty pumped about it, so uh, at least that worry can, can go bye-byes. Um, and then, you know, as far as Alice's look herself, do you have any particular thoughts? Not known as all grown up. <laughs> so your kids are a little bit more grown up than you, Rob. <laughs> okay, I'm happy with her face. Uh, I'm going to stop now. <laughs> and I'm going to make... I'm going to take the lips and cheeks and I'm just going to copy them straight over into my, no, I'm not, I, I chickened out, never mind. How do we feel, okay, I'm going to erase some of this stuff. I'm not sure how I feel about her eye makeup, so I'm still kind of thinking about it. I'm just erasing some lines I put in here that I no longer wish to have. Oh, Mr. E, I am so sorry. I have not forgotten about you. I was just talking with Dan this morning about uh, that. And I there, there is no issue with me drawing her for you. I just need to get to it. So you are next. I have the Zatanna I need to finish and then it's you. The only thing that I was thinking about for this coming week is to start trying to get ahead on some of my um, Sworn Fest commissions because I got very inundated and I have a super hard time saying no. So I took way more than I'm able to and still had to say no to a lot of people. So that's why I was thinking to try to get ahead on some of them. Um, but you are not forgotten. Of course, Joe would be thrilled if I drew a commission for someone and was requested something Divinica related. That is great news. So yeah, no issues there. <laughs> okay, that's good to hear. I hadn't really thought about specific look feel free to do whatever you want with the idea her okay i shall think about it i do have to think about real work <laughs> so i'm taking sunday to sort of work on me things and then i seriously am going to start plowing through divinica my plan is to um just start churning through the pages and really getting ahead, not ahead, I'm already behind, but get going on the actual pencils of the pages. Yes, there is a Medusa requested. And yes, I will keep you updated, sorry. True Deadman, hello. All right. I'm going to work from top down. Let's uh, spend a few minutes on her hair at least. I'm, you know, we'll see how long I last on it. Um, <clears throat> but yes, I want to work on her hair now. Let's do her foreground hair actually. Okay, I don't like what's going on here. What's happening? Boy, it's ugly without the, um, um, it's ugly without the line art, isn't it? Pecco, hello. <laughs> okay, how 
how did I do her hair here? All right, so I started with a dark blue. Thank you, Steve. I really appreciate that. You're a sweetheart. That's too light. And I haven't forgotten about the, the blue streak in her hair. I'm just going to do that after. When will the Kickstarter stuff be live on Divinica Shop? We are ready to go live. I need to check with JP Roth, so that is the last bit. But if you look on Divinica Shop right now, we did update the categories. We moved where the shop tab is, and that's just the tip of the iceberg of some of the fixes that we have done on the website. So check it out. Always makeup, hello, how's it going? Welcome Raiders. <laughs> How was your stream? What were you working on today always? At least this time we didn't raid each other again at the same time. That was crazy. Yes, stream went well. We were attempting to remake the boot covers for a new cosplay. Ooh, cool. That is so awesome. Thank you so much for the raid. Um, anybody on here, if you aren't following Always Makeup, please do so. She is incredible. And our uh, <laughs> live streaming at around the same time will be something that um, I personally am never going to hear the end of because we raided each other at the same moment and our streams, like we confused Twitch <laughs> and, and it was crazy. <laughs> Good times. Yes, <laughs> it's a safe raid today. Yes, I'm going to be live until 8 p.m. my time. So, um, yes, very safe raid. I'm so nervous these days. <laughs> I think, I think that kind of broke me for raiding. I have 
have no idea, Philip, because I don't remember what last year's was, honestly. That's really a Dan thing. I'm sure Devin knows. <laughs> that was so insane. And how did we fix it again? You just raided somebody else, right? And then and then it all kind of everything was fine. <laughs> Post traumatic raid syndrome. <laughs> yes. I'm sure, you know, the, the coders of Twitch were probably like, okay, so what happens if a stream raids at exactly the same time? What do we do? And they're, they were probably like, oh, we don't need to create a rule for that. It's never going to happen. <laughs> Lo and behold. <laughs> no, oh, thank you so much, Rob. Okay, so I may put some some side lights and rim lights on there once I decide what the background is going to be. Right now it's just a placeholder green, um, but we'll see what's going to happen there. And then of course her skin, her hair, all of that will pick up the ambient light of whatever is behind her. I just, I can't make up my mind. So I just had to move forward with um, working on everything else and uh, I'll figure it out later. <laughs> We've just left that problem for another day. Hey, I have a question for everybody here who watches Demon Slayer. Of which I know there are a fair few of you guys. We've started re-watching um, season one sometimes when we're, you know, not watching Naruto. And um, has anybody, like, actually seen anything from the author and creative team as to why um, Muzan Kib Kibuchi, the main big bad demon, you know, the original demon. Why he looks so much like Michael Jackson. I love it. I have no issue with it. I think it's super awesome. But is there any, like, have there been any interviews or any kind of statements from anyone as to why they decide to do that? I'm just so curious. She was. She was a paint pen test. <laughs> the OG demon, yeah. Does anybody know? Has anyone read anything about it? That would just be very interesting to me. Okay, now I'm going to do the hair in the back.
There is discussion out there, quote, we tried to contact the creators of the character moves on to confirm where the inspiration of the design comes from, but no answer so far. Demon Slayer moves on is Michael Jackson. Okay. <laughs> interesting well i hope that there's like some kind of insight on it not that i deserve to be given any insight i'm just curious <laughs> thank you rob i appreciate you looking it up i figured that by now there would have to be some sort of in info but i take not i take it that there isn't that's too light ew ew don't like no I haven't had a chance to um to watch that yet. I really need to watch the tardigrade video. I'll watch it tomorrow. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go on Twitch so that I can get that link that Rob posted. Yeah, see, it's it's pretty uncanny. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You have an interesting point, um, Hal. That makes sense. And so it's just kind of, you know, leave it up to everyone's imagination. <laughs> I like it. I can get behind that. Well, MJ was always into anime. Maybe there is a connection. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that about him. Okay, I've been kind of trying out the concept of making the part behind her hair, behind her head, lighter and her head in front darker, but I think I'm going to go the other way. And I'm gonna make this part on the side of her head lighter, like on the crown of her head lighter, and then the hair in the background a little bit darker. And then it goes into magenta, which I'm gonna start adding in now. I'm just gonna make a new layer. No, you don't, Rob. Oh my God. No longer. <laughs> it's 
So I'm going to need to start preparing the line art for color holds pretty soon because the black lines are starting to irritate me. And I'm going to go more ombre instead of full strips in her hair. It's going to kind of go from black into the magenta purple and just kind of be a little bit of this and a little bit of that all around. I think that will be a bit more fun and frankly easier. So I'm pretty happy about that. I just need to um, get the um, I need to get the lines prepared for color holds. <laughs> Is it hamburger night? It sure is. All right, I'm going to go a little bit lighter now and start getting just a few little highlights here and there in her hair. select her all of her hair now so I've got all of it selected and I'm just gonna start working through It's halftime if you want to catch the halftime show. Nice. Yes, everybody, please feel free to go catch it. I will watch it um, on replay later. <laughs> Frozen patties. We are, we are not fancy at all. But they're nice ones. We get them from Costco. Despite it all, what happened? Finish watching it and then you can come tell me. I don't want to disturb your guys' viewing. Okay, so now I'm going to do some levels here. Make the darker is a little bit darker. I'm just going to play around with the contrast. Yeah, that's better already. Lighter is lighter. Darker is darker. And...
Oh. <laughs> I think there are bets on whether Snoop smokes on TV. <laughs> Husky Boyo, hello, welcome to the stream. Okay, quick save break. really liked how I did these so I'm gonna do some stealing before anybody judges me I colored that myself and I'm swiping my own shit <laughs> okay Thank you, Husky Boyo. That does sound delicious, Philip. All right, there's little bobble one number one done. Uh, let's see. I'll do the pink one right next to it. This one right back here. So some of these colors, it appears as though I chose them and they are not, um, they're not CMYK compatible, which is annoying. Okay, and I made it blue. I'm of course going to go and fix the lines so that they're not black for this. That's awesome, Stanley. Enjoy the Super Bowl. <laughs> True story, Steve. I do know. And I should try the pizza, spinach and mozzarella ravioli from Costco. I have, I believe. My kids hated it. 
but I thought it was delicious. Definitely a good recommendation, Philip. I just don't think anyone can truly grasp how picky eaters our kids are. <laughs> Uh, and I can't really throw any shade. I am a super picky eater as well. But still, it's intense sometimes. Yeah, me too. I'm looking forward to watching it on YouTube later. <laughs> Absolutely. Hello, love. How's it going? I, I Right? Only the finest Cheez-Its for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> that is true, Hal. <laughs> very, very true. Just heading home from work. Get home safe, Tannis. Oh, she's trying, Philip. But Dan uh, said that that is unacceptable and mommy gets to come. <laughs> so I'm 100% planning to go. Uh, this program is Photoshop Creative Cloud that I'm working in right now. All right, I'm a little bit bored with the baubles and I'm starting to do a bad job. So I'm going to do some drop shadow stuff now. I'm just gonna rename the layer. Shadows. What? Oh, I know. It's going to be intense. <laughs> See you later, Stanley. Hey, I'm taking the hardness of the brush up higher. Aha, uh -huh. so it was under a layer. fill in her eyebrows in the drop shadow layer as well because I just have the right color. I did have my ramen. 
I did my workouts this week. I am a good girl. Okay, quick save. <sighs> oh, thank you, Robert. Totally confirmed the reason I wanted you to be excited about my subject. I did? How did I confirm? Oh, because I, <laughs> I got bored. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, Devin. You had hamburgers? Yay! Okay, I'm pretty happy with where everything is going. I think certain areas, of course, are still in flats and they look like trash. And there's other parts that I'm working on that also look like trash, but we're making it in the right direction. Hopefully. You wouldn't qualify for my ramen? <laughs> Sherlock has, in fact, been leaving fur balls. I'm very happy he did one the other night, though, because then that means he's going to be fur ball free while I'm gone. And I can assure you that no one else in this household enjoys or wants to have anything to do with Sherlock's fur balls. <laughs> like, not at all. Dan will do them, but he's not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> you said you got bored and thought your quality was going down. I think you're the only one <laughs> who would say that. Oh, thank you, Steve. But I can tell if I'm getting bored, I start getting a little bit shitty. <laughs> Hello, River Dragon. How much are your commissions? They vary quite a bit. Yeah. All right, so I'm considering her hair and a lot of the coloring so far to still be in the sketch stage. I'm just trying to get everything on the paper and then I'll start refining it. Ears are generally a little bit more reddish than the rest of the body, so I will be adding a little bit more um, red tone into her ears. But first, I'm just going to get the shadows in. And that part, this part right here, this little re um, rectangle, that's actually part of her earring. So um, the person who did my flats didn't realize that, so I need to go in and fix that. It's, it's Im impossible to do flats for somebody and all these little tiny details. How are you supposed to know what the artist had in mind? Like, what the fuck is that? So um, it's an easy fix for me. I just need to go do it. All right, so I'm gonna take the same blush color. I'm going to make sure the brush is very soft like airbrush, and then I'm gonna take my um, brush properties and I'm setting it to color. So it's just going into all the shadowy areas or whatever I've done on her ear and it's just changing the color to be a little bit more pink. And that looks a little bit more realistic. Everyone's ears, at least, you know, as far as I know, have more blood flow in the ears, the tip of the nose, tips of the fingers, so they always, at least on a pale skinned person, will appear more pink. Yeah, nobody truly likes fur balls, it's true. And Sherlock goes through phases, though. He went through the majority of last year doing all of his fur balls in the litter box, like a very tidy winterlet of a cat. Now, not so much. Yes, she is very behind on her commissions. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it off color, back to normal, and we're just going to smooth out some of those shadows. 
All right, I'm going to turn this off. I need to see the flats. Okay, so that is where the problem originates. I'm going to turn off the lines, get this flats color, get my pencil tool. Turn back on my lines and get that in where it needs to be. There we go. Okay, so now I can get that color in there correctly. I'm putting some really hard lines to start with because I want it to look pretty freaking sharp. Maybe, oh my God. So now I'm just going to my regular airbrush. I'm taking the opacity down and I'm going to start smoothing some of this out. Steve, which day are you arriving at Swornfest? <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine. I'm definitely going to watch it after the after my live stream. You're arriving on Friday, okay. Sweet. And everything starts Friday night, right? I'm trying a little bit more metal looking for her ear things because otherwise I'm, I'm concerned that they're just going to drop into the background and you just won't see them at all. The first official event is Friday night. Okay. Yeah, when I told Dan who was doing the halftime show, he was like, oh my God, no way. <laughs> and I've seen so many posts like showing, um, you know, everyone in the like 35 to 45 age range is like super excited. <laughs> You'll be at Sworn Fest in spirit. 
No, oh, Philip, you will be missed, but you are doing it out of care. You're missing it out of care for your parents, and that is very respect worthy. You will be missed. I will be having official events here on Friday alone. Weep, Rob. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you're listening to it, Mr. E. But you're only giving it the lower um, you're only giving it the lower points because of the censorship are they performing well at least Jeff says great halftime show yay glad you're happy so the great thing about doing my um, my drop shadows on a different layer is I can change my mind and add more highlights onto a place on the face or do changes, but I don't have to redo my drop shadows. Agree, Devin, but if beeped out, there would be nothing. <laughs> Did they like re rewrite? rewrite the, the lyrics a little bit to try to compensate for all of that? Or what did they do? Yes, I agree. Okay, so the show was good, the big hits, but rap IMO loses the creative thread when censored. Yes. Ooh, 97% Philip win. I'm going to start working on the rest of her skin now. Freaky Deek, hello, welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday. All right, for starters, I believe I kind of changed the skin tone of her face so many times that I don't know if it's the same as the skin down here, so I'm just going to go ahead yeah, it's not the same. I'm going to change the colors. Oh, wow. It's 2.30 a.m. Do I get the Divinica penthouse and Dan goes to the basement? It's possible, Philip. <laughs> Poor Dan, he'll be so sad. So this, um, this little hole in her shirt is not, I don't have it selected right now because I made this a slightly different color in the flats so that I would not be coloring that part of her skin while I'm trying to work on the highlights and shadows of her forearm. 
So that little spot is going to start looking weirder and weirder because it's not <laughs> It's not ha part of the shad shadowing and shading that we're doing right now. I will do that a little bit later. This pushes me back to the days of Gen 13. Love to remember those times. Ah, Freaky Deek, thank you. That means so much. All right, we're going to put a little bit more pink on the boobies. And there's going to need to be some serious, serious drop shadowing happening here, like a lot. Oh man, <laughs> could not agree more, Devin. I would love that. tonight too you're amazing if you're still on well I um when I leave I'll definitely come give you a raid I leave I finish my live stream at 8 p.m. mountain time um, if you're still on we'll come on over and say hi Absolutely. Just trying to be like you, not at all. <laughs> I'll be drawing for DCD Collects. That is so cool. It's a good one to stop by on. Nice. We totally will. Guys, don't let me forget. I can't see why I would, but still, we are going to raid Ka follow the Kaiser tonight. Absolutely. You always come by here to say hello, too. That is so awesome of you. Yes. Run, run. Go get set up. I know the drill. Have a good one. Have a wonderful stream, and we'll see you soon. Okay, it's drop shadow time on the boobies. <laughs> Plans for Dawn to accidentally self-raid anyhow. Oh my god, I really hope not. But you see, now I know that uh, Follow the Kaiser is going to um, be live. And he's going to be live past 8 p.m. my time. So I think... We're all boxes are checked. We should be safe. <laughs> all right, so I'm working on the booby drop shadows now. So in my opinion, the light source is coming from probably around, okay, uh, for you guys, it would be opposite, I, I guess, but like think at around 
like the two o'clock over her head. That's kind of what I have in mind. But the because of how her bust is rotating and all of that, you know, we're going to have to start going lower for it to start going into her cleavage. That's a little bit too dark though. I'm going to And the further away from an item the shadow is, the more blurred it gets. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind too. And then the string would also be casting a shadow. <laughs> oh my god, did I like say something that just didn't make any sense at all? I'm sorry everyone. Thank you, Waylon. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And of course, you know, I don't generally make much in the way of sense, so. I mean, that does make it look like they're a little bit roundy. I'm not sure. Maybe I should go further. I know this is getting all way too dark and I'm changing directions, but I just need to make sure that it's right. I might go a little bit more extreme, not necessarily because the extreme is correct. The extreme may be more incorrect, but at least then you notice it. I think sometimes if you go a little too timid on something like this, then nobody really gets what you're trying to accomplish. Um, and then it just looks really weird, you know? So I may go a little bit more extreme in the cleavage <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to I'm going to push it a little further than would technically be realistic, but you know, when have we ever cared about that on this live stream, right? I'm going to take the hardness down cuz we're getting a little further away from the boobies here. save. I might get rid of, see technically I think that there would be a shadow from this string, but because of all the other shadow stuff that's going on, I feel like it's just making it confusing and it almost looks like there was a mistake and there's a, a, wrong, a line that shouldn't be there. I don't know. It's not looking right to me. So I'm removing the drop shadow from that string.
to announce the new fiend? Is is the baby born? <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Mr. E. Excellent request. Baron, did you guys have the baby? Is that the announcement? About 30 minutes ago. Congratulations to you and Syl. That's awesome news. Yay! So, so wonderful. Congratulations. It was, it's a baby boy, right? So happy for you and Syl. That's wonderful news. Baby boy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Congratulations. Congrats on the new Baron Ling. I love that. So happy for you. Safe break. All right, now I'm gonna work on the one, this one little patch right there that I didn't want to do at the same time as everything else. It would just get really complicated. Get it the right skin color for starters. shadow Places to just start being weird or being weird all right we're just gonna leave it like that for now okay let's work on her shirt I'm thinking so, yes, Devin. So like, um, if anybody wants the other version, of course they can have it. Um, I would probably print a few less of the, the traditional one because it's not the same as the original. I've had to change a lot of colors. I've really had to work at it, but it's, it's not the same. I couldn't get it to look like the original. Um, so I'll do, a few version like a few of the traditional one and then probably more of the digital one and then honestly just see or maybe i'll print even and and let people vote with their choice <laughs> which one does better like i had no idea in the nezuko double print which one would sell better it, or you know which one would be more popular between the forest or the sakura one and forest was a clear winner um, so maybe, maybe I will be proven wrong and everybody likes the other one. <laughs> 
We'll see. It'll it'll be an interesting experiment. And all of this just goes into my knowledge database of what you guys prefer. <laughs> You guys are literally a study for me. <laughs> I just, I'm lurking and watching <laughs> to see what you'll choose. It's quite fun. Yes, the forest one was the snow one, sorry, yes. So Nezuko snow was far more popular than Nezuko pink or whatever it was called. And I honestly, I, I couldn't predict it. I wasn't sure which one. In the end, we get a little piece of cheese and some prints. <laughs> Nader, hello. So I'm just trying to get the shadows in for her top. I may adjust the color of it ever so slightly, trying to decide. Hi Soul, hello! Are you watching the Super Bowl? Just popping in real quick to say hi. Then on to the Olympics. Yay! I'm glad you're having fun. Make sure you beat Canada. In what? Everything? Yeah, the fat chance. <laughs> That's not happening. Uh, 
Uh, apparently, the rewind print this month is the Harley, um, like, it's a watercolor Harley. Freaky Deek, yes, I have drawn male characters and I will be drawing more of them um, starting this week because I am working on interiors for Divinica and there is um, a new male character that's being introduced, so yes, absolutely. But I will preface all of that by saying I don't draw male characters often. Here's a male character. And this was for a cover. I am swiping my own digital colors. <laughs> but Punchline's got Batman right there. But usually I am uh, tasked with the job, which I love, not complaining. But when I get given cover jobs, uh, mostly I get asked to draw female characters. It's kind of what I'm more comfortable in and better at. <laughs> Harley's little black book, true. I'm always forgetting the name. <laughs> Dan hates modeling, hence not very many male characters. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, this coming week is going to be an intense drawing week. I have a few little, like, mommy chores that I need to do, but for the most part, it is going to be drawing. But I did the... um. The tree that you guys liked the most, the tree number one, is the one that we're going with. So that's already transferred and ready for paint. Um, and then the tardigrade work that we did on Thursday, I'm going to, now that I know how to set up the tardigrade's body, which is what I needed, now I'm going to start moving on to those pages as well. Next week, Dawn does beefcakes. <laughs> I'd say your The Dark Knight Joker is a top five piece overall. Thank you, Devin. That's so kind. Yes, your point about it being a good mirror image to the Magu tree was really awesome and definitely what of one of the um one of the deciding factors for me really. Except I wasn't gonna publish that <laughs> The, the last tree where I was trying to make it a figure eight tree and it came out looking rather suspicious. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember what I equated it to, but yeah. And then I showed JP Roth and I told her what I thought it looked like and she's like, oh my God, now I can never unsee that. <laughs> I have not. Hanu Soul, I'm so sorry. I'm going to watch it first thing tomorrow morning. I'm going to write a note to myself. <laughs> That's your Magu tree. <laughs> All right. Uh, what was I writing to myself? Yes. Watch. Mike Vim. Mike's. Tardigrade. All right, it is on a post-it on my desk. I will not be able to miss it. Yes, I'm more comfortable drawing females. I'm not very comfortable drawing animals or men. And uh, JP Roth has written uh, an amazing story, but it also has animals and men and children and, you know, uh, character, a new character. There's two new male characters that we're putting in this book that are main characters. Then, of course, there's tons of other people just around, right? Um, and one of them is like a young teenager, think like tween age. Um, and then the other one, of course, is a fully grown male character. So I've got lots of different body types to learn how to draw. It's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Let 
Let you know what I think. Yes, I will definitely watch it and let you know. I'm excited. William Doctor, hello. Welcome to the stream today. Okay, it's shadow time. Oof, I'm hitting my post-its. Is he really fully grown? <laughs> okay, then I, I, I have no response to that. I don't know what to say. <laughs> do all the drop shadows on her bust um, in my same drop shadow file I think so that I have a little bit more freedom as far as that goes need a little bit bigger of a brush right there. I'm just trying to like have her top be purple but maybe not make the sa the shadows like such saturated purple. It was just looking a little too garish for me. Oh, that sounds so yummy, Hanu Soul. I'm getting hungry. And that sounds so delicious. Oh my God, I'm hungry. I might have to go get my real fruits. This week, <laughs> this week is my turn to choose the dessert. <laughs> and I literally chose that we all get a bag of real fruit gummies. That's all I wanted. And I wanted them right away. And I have been having a few real fruit gummies throughout the weekend and I am perfectly happy. But they just, I don't know, I could have really handled a bigger bag of real fruit if I'm gonna, you know, be fully honest with you guys. <laughs> I wanted a little bit more. You ordered Chinese tonight, nice. We had barbecue chicken parts for dinner. We don't ask what parts they are. Oh my God. <laughs> Chili cheese dogs and fries. Yummy. <laughs> barbecue chicken buttholes. <laughs> oh my God, Devin. <laughs> I didn't like that. <laughs> Gross.
pizza and wings for you guys. Yummy. No, no Divinica tonight. I'm working on a little personal project. giving her shirt a little bit of texture. Okay, thank you, Philip. Your five layer dip. You usually make that, right, Devin? I'll paint over this a little bit too. I'm just getting a little bit of texture on there because she was looking a little plain. Okay, general brushes, hardness up. before but when I'm lazy the bot stuff is just as good nice Now I'm going to do some drop shadows on her shirt from the, um, the strings and any elements that I feel would benefit from that drop shadow. Oh, that's so nice, Wayne. Now I'm softening up my um, brushwork for the, the shadows here because it would be they would be a little bit more blurred due to the fact that the string is just not as close to her top. And I think they're just a little bit too dark. think something like that.
where does Freaky Deke live? Have you told us where you live, Freaky Deke? Little bit of handcrafted scratchiness. I'm using a pencil brush. You're in Germany. Ooh, nice. Smart man, Rob. Okay, quick little save. Rail Tracer TK. Oh, Joe Wayne is fine. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the stream today. I'm going to mess around with the hue a little bit. Woke up feeling like a menace might draw Bane nice. Oh, is your daughter coming back next month? That is awesome. You haven't seen her in so long. I'm so happy for you guys. So I'm going to work on her dress now. I'm just going to get a bit more highlights in here. 
Actually, I think I'm just going to colorize the whole thing. Yeah, we're just going to go a little bit lighter so we can see it so that it pops. Since I already did all the shadow toning in her, um, in the lines. Do the same thing with her gloves. Okay. There's not even a ton of work I have to do on her leather and gloves because I already did it. Yay! I'm just gonna get a bit of a darker blue and start putting in shadows in a few places, maybe even some more highlights. It just depends. I'm gonna start trying some things out. Now I'm going to go lighter, bring back out some highlights. So I might need to do some coloring like on top of my um, my lines just to give the leather a little bit more um, shine to it, I suppose, if it turns out that it's just a little bit too dark. But for now, I'm going to leave it at that. My job is so much easier. <laughs> Now I'm going to work on adding some highlights into this part of her, um, like her zipper and everything. But I want to colorize it again, so I'm just going to change the tone a little bit. Yeah, that's better. I'm just going to get the shadows in there.
So I'm just kind of following some of the um, bumps and changes in her actual dress and that's kind of it would be reflected in her zipper. So I'm just kind of doing that. Good night with the fan art. Have a good one. Oh shit. Okay, some highlights here. And you know, at the, at the top here, it isn't metal, like a zipper, I think. At least I, I don't think it is. Um, but then as it goes further down, um, right about here, in my mind, then that's where the zipper begins. <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna put a bit more highlights on the zipper, of course probably give it a little bit of an actual shine so that it pops. Good, good. All right, should we do the color holds really quickly and then I'll carry on with more coloring? Yes, it's 42 minutes. So I'd like to show everyone how color holds are handled. Um, since I haven't done that on live with you all in a minute. Right, she would strangle herself. So first thing I do is I actually turn off all of the lines. And I've done some erasing, so that's why that looks weird. Um, and I'm going to go over to channels. I'm going to hit control, click on the blue one. I don't know, that's just how I've always done it. Um, and then I'm going to do control shift I for inverting the um, selection. Then I'm gonna go back to layers, create a new layer and hit edit fill with 100% black. 100% black, there we go. All right, so now when I turn everything back on, we should have, no, I don't know that I want that yet. We should have the lines. There we go. So now the lines are actually on a layer, they're floating, as opposed to how I had them before where they were on white paper. Because in order to do color holds, you need to have it as a floating image with no white paper around, or it can't grab onto the lines. So um, I just got the lines on their own layer. And now, I'm just going to get a new layer, name the layer Fred. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna name the layer Fred. Oh, I see, we're gonna name the art layer. Fred the line art. And then here a layer on top of it is gonna be called color holds. And then I'm gonna group the color holds to Fred, the line art layer. Control Art Alt G for group. And now whatever I color on the color holds layer is going to appear on Fred, the line art layer. <laughs> okay, so um, for her skin, for instance, I would wanna take a very dark, saturated version of her skin tone. So let's just grab her basic skin tone and I'm gonna go way down to the bottom. Make sure everything's deselected. I'm gonna choose a more stronger brush. Need to make sure the opacity is up at 100%. And then while I'm coloring here, it's changing all the lines, but I can scribble over here on her face and nothing happens. It only happens 
where there are lines, which makes it super easy and very handy for doing color holds, which I like. Color holds are definitely a personal preference thing. There are um, artists like myself that just are fucking all about the color holds, and then there's other artists that can't stand them. So it's just, there. it's not right to have color holds. It's not the only professional way to be someone who uses color holds. I just like them, so I use them. So like here, it would be perfect. All these stringies, I think, will pop a whole lot better once the white is a nice light gray like this. They're not going to look so harsh. And maybe I'll give them a little bit of a um, shading job. I won't do all the color holds right now, I just wanted to show you guys how to do them because um, for the first little while I really, it took me a while to figure it out. <laughs> Sabine is the one who told me how she sets up for color holds, so I did get this from Sabine and um, I'm so grateful, but I couldn't always remember all the steps, so <laughs> I had to write them down. Um, now it's a little bit more instinctive, but you know, if you're trying to figure out how to do color holds, at least I'll run through it a number of times for everybody um, throughout all of my live streams, so hopefully you can remember. And I would do, I would definitely do color holds here. I'm going to go into like the purpley range and we're going to do some color holds for the earrings. Hopefully it'll help them stand out a little bit more. Color holds are extremely handy for times where like it's something light, you know, like you want to, you want to color, you've drawn a, um, big, beautiful, glowing snowflake or something. <laughs> uh, it's not going to really have the visual effect of a snowflake in a digitally colored piece if the lines are black. So that's really what color holds are just so handy for is because in that situation, you wouldn't want you know, Elsa style coloring for a snowflake and then the snowflake lines are just ruining everything, in my opinion. So um, that's why I find them so incredibly helpful. Oh, good night, Hal. Have a wonderful evening. I hope your week goes incredibly well.
Can you remind us homebodies for your plan for streams this slash next week? Um, absolutely. I am going to be live um, at normal time throughout this week. Um, I may be working on Divinica. It depends if I'm at a thinking stage or a light boxing stage, both of which are not my favorite to do live. Um, so if I'm at a stage where like literally the whole live stream is going to be me transferring to board, um, you guys are so sweet and kind and you are very encouraging. It is not a you problem, it's a me problem. <laughs> I don't feel very comfortable doing it. So it'll either be Divinica stuff or it'll be me working through the commissions. It'll be painting Divinica. It could be all over the place, <laughs> but I will be live at the regular times. Oh, the week after because of Sworn Fest. Aha. Um, for Sworn Fest, I am leaving on Thursday. So I'll be live on Tuesday uh, during the Sworn Fest week. And then I will uh, be at Sworn Fest Thursday through Monday. Now, I may, there may be some sneak attacks. Um, at Sworn Fest, but I have no live streaming plans during Sworn Fest. Thought you said about doing home home things on Sunday. Right. No stream plans currently, no. Um, unless I manage to live stream from the hotel room, but it's doubtful. You can so much relate to that. Also have stages I'm not comfortable doing on stream. Yeah, it's just, it's a little nerve wracking. Um, but I'm slowly getting more used to it. I had one little glimmer of progress in that I did um, concept art last week on stream. Hadn't done that before. Awesome, I can finally plan that life-saving surgery I've been putting off. You had better be joking. Oh my God. Rob, way to just make me feel like absolute horseshit. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm happy to hear you're kidding. I figured you probably were, but ow, man, that hurt. be going to light still. Love the concept arting. Thank you so much. It, it went better than expected. I will continue trying to get braver and not be so scared of that part of the that stage. I do want to show some form of um, 
motion blur or something on her um, top to indicate that it's all been cut. Now that's that's a tall order. I'm gonna have to figure out how exactly I wanna show that, but I would like to. <laughs> Truly very, very kind. Thank you, Rob. Is everybody happy about whoever's winning? Ooh, and question about the um the Super Bowl. What what did The Rock do? I've seen him posting all day today and part of yesterday he was posting on Instagram that he's so excited about what's going on and you know that he was never able to actually be in the NFL and he really wanted to be but this is almost as good. He's doing something at the Super Bowl. What is he doing? He just did an intro right before kickoff. It was a big deal because he played in college. Yeah, I think it, I think it's super cool. I'm definitely not um, doubting that. I just was curious because I couldn't tell what he was saying he was gonna do. And he like hurt his knee or something in college and that's why he couldn't play in the NFL. <laughs> I don't kink shame, I kink courage. Oh my God, Steve, that's amazing. <laughs> Kink Courage. I don't think I've ever heard that one before. He used to be a Calgary Stampeder? No way! It was very brief. He was probably like, get me the fuck out of here, it's too cold. That's insane. They're probably all just like wanting to shoot themselves. <laughs> Channeling my inner goddess Joe with the descriptive writing. <laughs> okay, I'm saving those for Joe, Steve. You're getting hard told on. That is too fucking funny. I don't kink shame, I kink <laughs> And you're channeling your inner goddess Joe. I've literally never heard that before. Absolutely not. <laughs> I saved it, Steve. I am totally showing that one to Joe. <laughs>
together. Injury then cut. Okay. <laughs> it's amazing, Steve. You had a true winner tonight. Uh, but giant heads up. I am not settled on that background color. It's literally just, um, just a filler right now. She says she regularly lurks and laughs at our comments. Oh, so maybe she already had herself a chuckle. I can imagine that she's watching the Super Bowl though. Yes, right now it's literally teal for the sake of teal. Absolutely. We need Joe on more so I can try to get her to read stuff again. I know that was so bad. <laughs> so naughty, Rob. You did good though. Are you gonna be going to um, Planet Comic Con this year, Rob? Joe and Eric will be there and Sabine. In case anyone is interested, I will not be there this year because Calgary Expo is the same weekend, so I will not be making it. All right, I feel like a fun handle would be really good. Tom, hello, hello. Are you happy with whatever team won? Are you happiness? You're going to Planet Comic Con. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm not sure about that one. Still thinking maybe Orlando. Ooh, fun. You need Sabine signatures. Yes. It's still going on. Are you happiness so far? There's still five minutes left, so like 45 in real life. Oh, damn. Okay, never mind then. Clearly, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Either team winning works for you. <laughs> oh, good. I know, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I won't do it again. Unless for some reason I actually come down with COVID and I cannot travel, I will do my utmost to actually show the fuck up.
Tom. Hooray, apathy. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, still, it was kind of my fault. So, I take the blame on that one. I still can't decide what color I want this to be, so it's a little bit green. It's a little bit gray. <laughs> We've just got a lot of colors going on right now because a certain somebody can't make up her mind. I know, Tom, I'm so tempted. But you know what? I'm a little bit of a hermit and I don't go anywhere, so we should be okay. But yes. I am so nervous. Like, I really want to make sure I get there. I can't wait. If I can't end up going, I'm going to be so sad. A nice slate gray would make the purple stand out nicely. How are we doing on the slate gray? I feel like we're going in that direction or is slate darker? Yeah, so I'm covering up the like small hints of green that were left. say welcome you guys might want to go a bit bronze or brass to get away from her ear metals that's a good point Rob <laughs> have a good one freaky deek enjoy your week We've got that so far. Um, let's just take the levels up a little bit more, hike the contrast, make the darks a little bit darker, the lights a little bit lighter. Let's preview that. Mm, it's very slight. Go a little bit more intense. Okay. That is not happening, Rob. <laughs> the best part of the Super Bowl was the Doctor Strange trailer. Ooh, I can't wait to see that. Okay, I'm gonna give this a quick save, and then we're gonna go check out um, Follow the Kaiser. I'm just gonna go load Twitch. <laughs> or did I already load Twitch? I did. You've got to be kidding me. He's not here. How was I not already following? That is insane. I can't believe. I am so ashamed of myself. Well, I just went and followed him. <laughs> so we will go and get ready to live stream. <laughs> oh, dear God, I am such a failure. Okay. Let me go to my creator dashboard. We're going to get the raid going. And then I will bid all of my long-winded farewells. <laughs> oh, 
Hopefully I'm not going to screw it up. I know. I'm doing better, thankfully. Grade. Raid follow red here on SER. All right. Let's get the raid started. We'll go see what he's working on. And I love you all so very much. Thank you for joining me on the raid. Thank you for hanging out with me during the Super Bowl, keeping me updated on what was going on with it, and working on Punchline. You guys are amazing. Good night. I love you so much. Let's go raid. <laughs>